reissue of forfeited shares at a discount. In this case, there is a small change. Normal entry on issue of shares at a discount was bank account debit, discount account debit to share capital. But now instead of discount, we say shares forfeited account debit. Like we said, when we are reissuing these shares, if we are reissuing these shares at a discount, that is a loss, it is a capital loss and we set it off against the gain we made on for feature of the shares. So here instead of discount, discount account debit, we use shares for feature account. So what is our entry? Bank account debit with the amount received, let's say 9 rupees per share, shares forfeited account debit 1 rupee per share to share capital 10 rupees. So instead of saying discount account debit, we say shares forfeited account debit. Next, one more entry, shares forfeited account debit to capital reserve. What is the amount here? Now the amount here is the amount which was forfeited on the shares reissued less, less the discount on reissue. That is the net gain, net gain. <clears throat> the amount forfeited was a gain. That was the profit on forfeiture. Discount on issue, reissue is a loss. Profit minus the loss if there is any balance left, only such balance should be transferred to the capital reserve account. There is again one more variation. If forfeited shares originally issued at a discount, these are now being reissued at a discount. So the shares were originally issued at a discount. They were forfeited and now they are being reissued again at a discount. In that case, what would be the entry? In that case, the entry would be bank account debit with the amount received. Discount account debit with the original discount. Discount account debit with the original discount of the shares reissued. Shares forfeited account debit with the remaining discount to share capital, to share capital. And again, shares forfeited account debit to capital reserve with what? With the amount forfeited on the shares reissue less discount on reissue less original discount. That means... Shares forfeited account here is debited with a certain value. This represents the loss. Shares forfeited account which we have received is the gain. We deduct the two and arrive at the net gain to be transferred to capital reserve account. Another way of computing would be to ensure that there is a balance in the shares forfeited account which is equal to the amount received on the shares forfeited but not yet reissued. The remaining balance can be transferred to capital reserve. Here the amount forfeited, this is, your, this is our gain on forfeiture. Because the shares were reissued at a discount, but part of the discount has been transferred to discount account, not the shares forfeited account. Only the amount which was transferred, only the amount which was debited to the shares forfeited account needs to be considered to arrive at the net gain to be transferred to capital reserve. Let us consider an example. X limited forfeited 1000 shares of 10 each issued at par for non-payment of final call of 4 per share. 600 of the forfeited shares were reissued at a discount of rupee 1 per share. Journal entries on forfeiture and reissue and what is the balance in the shares forfeited account. 
So quickly on for feature, we have it's the same problem. We've done this before. Share capital account is debited. 1,000 shares of 10 each, that's 10,000. Two. Shares forfeited account with the amount received. Four is not received, therefore six is received into 1,000, 6,000. Two calls in areas is 4,000. Calls in areas being 4 rupees per share, not paid. 4 into 4,000. This is our entry on for feature. Then these were reissued but at a discount of rupee 1 per share. What is our entry? Bank account debit. How much? 600 shares were reissued at 9 rupees. Therefore, we are talking of 5,400. Bank account debit. We do not say discount account. Instead, we say Shares forfeited account debit. Forfeited account debit. How much? The amount of discount is 1 into 600 shares. That is 600 to share capital. 6,000. 600 shares into 10 each. Now, what is the amount now which will be transferred to capital reserve? The entry is of course shares forfeited account debit. To capital reserve. Shares forfeited account debit to capital reserve. What is the amount? The gain here is 6 rupees per share. 6 rupees into 1000 shares. That was the gain. What is the loss? The amount of discount is the loss. What was that? 1 rupee per share. Therefore, 6 minus 1 net gain is 5 rupees per share into how many shares were reissued? 600 shares were reissued. So, 6 minus 1, 5 into 600, 3000 should be transferred to capital reserve account. If we transfer this 3000 to capital reserve account, what is the balance now in the shares forfeited account? We had a balance, a credit balance of 6000 in the shares forfeited account. Then it was debited for 600 rupees and again it was debited for 3000 rupees. Therefore, now there is a balance of 2400 in the shares for treated account. What is 2400? Shares which were forfeited but not reissued are 400 in number. 400 into the amount received when the shares were forfeited. The amount received on the shares forfeited was 6 per share. 6 into 4, 2,400 is the balance in the shares forfeited account. Therefore, our accounting entries are right. Therefore, this computation of the amount transferred to capital reserve is 